All right, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new RTX 4090 with, of course, NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima. Now, I'm at 2022.20 beta right now, which is the newest version. And basically, I want to know a couple of things. How does it react as far as the timeline goes, the editor, path tracing, and rendering? So that's what we're going to take a look at first. All right, so um, actually, let me go ahead and show you this new UI that I saw today. It looks really freaking cool. I'll go ahead and hide the lights though, because I don't want to see those. But they have now this camera UI up here, which kind of lets you change the cameras. Additionally, you can turn on auto exposure and off as well. Because me, like I've made in previous videos, I like turning auto exposure off because I don't like that. I control the exposure by myself. I can go ahead and auto focus as well using this button now right here, which is really awesome. And I can actually change the aperture here as well. All right, so that's just a quick little uh, demonstration of the new UI. But let's talk about the performance of the RTX 4090. So before I had the 3090 and A6000, but my goodness, for a single GPU, this is real time, as you can see in my editor right now. This is running pretty smoothly. No stutters whatsoever, and I'm going to increase it so you can see it a lot better. Uh, this is incredible for being a single GPU system. Um, obviously, I think for RTX A6000s is still going to beat this performance, but for a single card, that's really what I'm showcasing here. All right, so let's go to path tracing right now. We have 64 samples per pixel right here. And as you can see, it gets a little bit dark just because of the uh, the lighting here. And probably the eye. Let me, ch let me change the eyes real quick. The lighting is going to be different from real time to path tracing because it's different, right? The, the bounces and things like that. So this is path tracing right now, and this is real time. So the real time is going to be a lot better. So this is 64 samples per pixel, and it is resolving in roughly 1.8 seconds. So I'll focus this. You can see that it's going to, yeah, but 1.82, which is, again, really freaking fast for a single GPU. And focus this man right here. Oh, sorry. Let me I'm going to focus him again. All right, that's pretty cool. And I think I have the sun like right above there. That's why you're seeing that clear. It's crazy. 70, 1.7 sometimes. And this looks this looks incredible. It just looks amazing, man. I mean, I do really do. I do really like this new UI here. It's kind of cool. And I can, like, remove it if I don't want it. But I know I wanted to test this out real quick in here in Omniverse because I'm going to be using this. I'm actually making a short right now in this environment right now. I just haven't really finished it. I'm still, I still have to mocap it, but um, I'm going to, I'm working on something here. That's really cool. So I can't show too much because it's a work in progress, but at least I know that this resolves a lot faster than the RT, uh, and then the RTX 3090. Again, I would say maybe double. And then what I'm gonna do right now is just really go ahead and render this out. So we take a look at it, rendering, movie capture, and we'll go with 4K path tracing, and we'll do, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe we'll do like 128 samples per pixel. This is 128 4K. We're just going to render this right here. So capture current frame. And I'm going to just see how long this is going to take in path tracing. That looks so crisp already. Wow. I'm going to have to watch that video because I, I, I don't even know where it stopped. So um, I don't even know when that actually finished. So I'm going to have to like maybe put a text on the screen because I didn't expect it to finish that soon. To be honest, at 4K, 120 frames per pixel path tracing, one GPU, I didn't expect it to be that fast. I'm sorry. So I'm just going to put the text up. And um, you'll see how fast that rendered. Uh, but what we'll do now is just take a look at that render to see if it looks good. Because if it doesn't look good, 
defeats the purpose. So I think it's Hay 2 that I did because I did two tests. Yeah. Holy crap. Jeez. This is insane. That looks amazing. For that fast of a render. In four... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just super excited because in Maya, back then, I would render a 128720 with the RTX 3090, and it would take like 2 minutes 45 per frame in not even path tracing. So you're telling me that I can render path tracing in whatever, how many seconds that was, in 4K with the RTX 4090? That's just something to be very, very, very excited about. Obviously, I still have to make a movie with it to kind of give you my overall kind of opinion about this card. But so far, playing video games in Unreal Engine 5, in NVIDIA Omniverse, it has been worth the upgrade from a 3090. Tell that right now. For $20 MSRP over the 3090, it's been so much worth it um and again i just wish i got the nvidia founders edition because i'm already running into the problem of the glitchy uh booting up earlier that i saw joe but but yeah i'm gonna be doing more videos obviously but this is just a quick video to show you how it performs with nvidia omniverse machinima and i think it's performing pretty darn well if you all have any questions let me know and i'll see y'all later peace out